Hey guys, welcome back. Um, not in the last video, in the last truck video, uh, I said the engine was going to be next. It's in there. But I'll leave that till next time because the uh, thing is kind of escalated quickly. Uh, it's chassis time. <laughs> so we're just down here at Admo Fab, and he's got his um, he's in his new shop out there but uh this is his plasma room i think it was originally designed to be a cool room but it's actually perfect for what he's doing um got the plasma table there cnc plasma table for this temporary workbench uh we'll, um when he's done what he's doing we'll um chuck a sheet on here and uh i'll set the gopro up on the wall luckily the entire place is magnetic so i can use my little three-footed monster mount and um do a bit of a time lapse of cutting some uh, truck rails. Before I uh, cut this thing in half, just been taking some reference photos and some before and after type photos for various pages that I'm on. But the uh, bottom of the rail here, so the bottom of the original rail, 220, 220 mil or um, is it eight and three quarter inches? And yeah, 100. 15, 110, 15 on somewhere around there from the top of that rail to the bottom of that one so if um, anyone's messing with their truck and they want to get an idea of how far this thing is gone um, we cut another plate for this as a template which has got a slot cut through it which matches this which gave us the cutting line I've just lined up some holes to um, line that up I've measured the height from the top of this rail to the top of the factory rail so I can then work it out to get this one in the right spot the length's the same I've measured um, from various holes on the body and marks on the body different points to um, different parts of the rails on both of them and I've put a bar across the like a um, square flat edge across the top of the two rails there to get levels and everything just to make sure that my cuts are in the right place these, these ones here and um, so this joint will butt up to this one and there'll be a fish plate on the inside and the other one of these rails is a lot longer it comes up to here somewhere and while I'm doing that I'll fix those old bed points on both sides but yeah that gives a uh, reference of how much we're um, how much I'm dropping this thing just got the um, rail clamped to the 
welding wrench. So I'll um, go through and do all these little spacer plates now. Got the uh, little three footed monster mount up there with the GoPro doing the time lapse. And of course, the pickup truck's down under the uh, banner up there. You've got to have one of those. So cool. Time lapse. through and uh, after tacking these I've gone through with a square and made sure they're all square to the um, all square to the rail and also while I'm there just gone through with the verniers and made sure they're all um, the calipers and just made sure they're all the same height so we don't get any sort of a balloon shape in the um, a bit of a curve on over if one's high or anything like that now the um, fish plate sits on top of there, and then the outer, yeah, the outer sits on top of here and goes up to this line here. Uh, that's where the chassis is cut, and so this slides inside the rail, and the outer uh, skin or rail butts up to the chassis. Um, and ties it all in together and with these spacer plates here it keeps the uh, fish plate hard up against the outside of the rail and then they'll uh, weld in there but I'll weld around here and then um, plug weld around here I've used the um so these holes here that are for where the original leaf spring hanger was, they um, they used now just basically for locating, and um, I can clamp up the fish plate. So now what I'll do is now that I've checked that fish plate's in the right place, I'll um, I'll put a couple of clamps on here and then I'll I'll weld around the inside of the fish plate as much as I can. Um, get to what I can and what I won't be able to weld once the rails are sitting on the truck. The top and bottom caps, the plates, they won't go on until right at the end. But yeah, I'll do that now. Then I can, um, I'll pull this back off, weld around that, drop it back on, clamp it all, and then weld all these up. And we can go sit it on the truck.
dressed up the inside of the uh, these rails I've um, gone through and uh, filled the rivet holes from the original cross member where it goes across yeah, on, on the top of the rails here there's some um, I've filled the top ones I haven't done the ones on the underside of the rail because I'm going to use those as drain points because the front of the um, chassis rail is open so the water and that can get through so that's drain point just the um, those were where the original bed mounting holes were and um, they've got a square hole in there from factory because of a locating nut that sits under there um, they were corroded out and there's been washers sitting on top of it which is um, rusted around it so I've cut those out I've used original parts of the top of the rail to fill that in so it's all the same um, material thickness and everything so now I've done all that copper coated and inside everything all that got these two rails here so I can offer those up mount them in place and um, please excuse the mess so we can um, get on with putting those in place and uh, try and square them all up and everything and hopefully um, tack them in at the front end. That's today's job. The, um, I've tacked the top uh, top plate on on the rail. Um, most people usually do that while the rail is clamped to the table that I had where I was piecing it all together. Um, I hadn't really finalised where I was cutting down how far away this was going to be, so I did it sort of backwards. Uh, but it's worked out alright for the top ones. The bottom one, I'm going to have a go at bending and putting under while it's still on the trolley. Um, I'll just tack those and probably do the welds down here, but um, I'll see how I go, but I might, uh, when the cab's off, I might flip the chassis over and do all the big welds underneath, like the cross members and that, do a, a proper job. Makes it so much easier. Um, but while I am here, I'll just, I won't go into detail about how I bent it. I'm going to link you to a video somewhere up here. There'll be a link. Um, I've mentioned him in a recent video, Ching from Disguise Customs. Um, he did a uh, quick video on a really awesome hack which I've used. So this piece here, that's part of offcuts from when we did the plasma cutting. And I've used that for a template to do this bend while this was away from the rail so I didn't have to try and fold this over and then fold that there because that's just going to be when you fold this bit over here that's just going to be really awkward so um, you'll see the tape mark the, the texture marks there um, basically it runs a tape from the front of the cut over the top of it Marks it, marks the templates, puts the, takes the tape off the rail and then puts it on the flat piece. And then you can tack the um, template to it and fold it where it needs to be. And it's, uh, as you can see, it's, um, it's worked out really well. Excuse the tack welds. Uh, so now I'll just pull this off and clean all that up. And that's done and I'll do the other side because I haven't done that yet. But uh, yeah, if you check his videos out, there's that, but... Um, just some of the work he does, like the finishing work and uh, the prep work and that sort of thing, plus all the cool that shit that he does anyway. Uh, go check him out, have a look. And um, I'll take that off and carry on with the other one.
So it's been a few days. The shed's an absolute pigsty, but I'm not too fussed about that at the moment. It's um, had a few days of high 30s. I spent a bit of time in here on this thing. I'm pretty toasted, uh, a bit cooked. But ignoring the um, two temporary cross members in there, these rails are done. Well, the basics of the two main rails, that is. Um, I've just got a little bit of welding to do under the front of that one and a tiny bit under the front of this one. I'm going to wait till the cab's off and I'm going to uh, ask a mate really nicely if I can borrow his rotisserie and um, flip this whole thing over. I'll do those welds then I can just start chopping that cross member and other stuff under there. But yeah, these are um, these are all done. I've added a bit of bracing to the um, the tub. I'm going to cut out this crap here. Maybe put another couple of uprights RHS in there. So I've dragged the truck outside, out of the shed there, and uh, got the tub sitting on the back, precariously lifted by the uh, the gola. So I've only dropped the tub on there purely because I'd like to, um, I'm keen to see what's, what my clearances are like, my heights are like, and just to see uh, what it looks like with the nice new rails and the big notch in there with the tub sitting on. They've come out, I'm, I'm really happy with them. I could do a bit more on them, but I've sort of got to the point where um, I need to spend time on other things on the truck and the car. Um, you'll see the next video of the coupe after I'm not sure when these are going to come out, but there's the roll racing video, the one after that on the coupe is, um, I'm pointing over there because it's, it's hiding over there somewhere. Um, that's the good one on the coupe, the next one, um, the interesting one. I just chucked the tyres in there, I put tyres on the blocks of wood, which I usually do, and um, we'll have a quick look at the heights on those, and uh, I think that'll be it. Okay, so got the uh, three 315-20s sitting in there, they're the tyres I want to run for now, um, I've got them kind of where they're going to sit, the tubs are going to go pretty much up to the, um, the quarter panels, uh, but around there is where they're going to be, so I'm going to go with that, I want to go to 335s which is a slightly taller tyre, um, and obviously a wider tyre, they suit the 12 inch rims a lot nicer. Uh, these ones are pretty much the side walls flush with the, the rim, which isn't terrible, but um, the higher side wall will give me a nicer ride. They'll fill out the truck more, they'll make it look pretty cool. They're also $600 a tyre each, so plus 600 starting from around 600 if you can get them. So for now, 315s, <laughs> that's what's going on there. Um, and I also want to leave room for um, fitting the 325s off the coupe of those 15 inch wheels if I can get them over the brakes which are going on this. I can't do much more without um, airbag brackets. The diff up, all starts around the diff and the, um, the four link set up. Once I've got those then I can smash out pretty much everything else. Um, but uh, I'm really happy with how that's come together especially for a backyard job. Um, that'll be, I've got to work it out, but that might not be too far off ride height, I think. The, with the 100 mil clearance, the back end of the truck should be able to sit this low. Um, but uh, I'll work more on that on the, um, on the next video for this truck. I have got a video on the engine, which should be a bit of a laugh, um, but the next two, or well, one will be the coupe, and then back to the truck. Now they'll be all over the place. I don't know. They'll, they'll come out when they come out. 
Sorry. Okay, guys, I'll um, I'll wrap this one up here. Um, I think I've pretty much covered everything on the back end of this so far. I've got a, um, a diff housing on its way. Uh, the guys at AdmoFab have ordered the center for me and are uh, knocking that up. So by the next video, I should have that sitting in place and possibly the four link gear. Um, I left this outside over maybe two days and um, the back end just got surface rust all over it. Um, so I've just uh, thrown some edge primer on it and um, the sun's pretty bright, I can't really see what's going on. Um, throwing a bit of edge primer on and a bit of um, satin top coat on it, just, just to protect it. So, uh, while I'm away, I'll order some parts and they'll come in. The guys at AdloFab will, um, they'll get my diff together. So it's the sensor and the tubes, so then we can work out bracketry, airbag brackets. So I've got to order airbag brackets as well. Um, not much is going to happen with the tub in the next couple of weeks. Um, that's going to be one of the last things that I cut up to suit the truck. Um, just quickly, most of you guys, we've already discussed this. Follow Iron Empire. He's got new merch out. Killer shirt. I won't show you the back. You can go to his site and have a look, but it's a play on the Hearst logo. Not sure if I should say that, but um, but yeah, I'm a fan. And he's now shipping to New Zealand if you're watching from there, which is where I'm from. So get some of this stuff ripping over there. Otherwise, I'll have to take it home and wear it when they let me. Um, also, the start of the video, hopefully, I've got it on there. Um, new channel logo and a bit of channel artwork. Um, I hit up Toasty from Toast Graphics. Um, I said I want filthy builds, the coupe, and the filthy builds, the coupe, and the truck on there. These are the colours of the cars and truck. So now you know what colour this thing's going to be. Um, go for it, free reign, do what you want. And he came back with that, and I'm stoked with it. So, um, Maybe one day if this thing ever grows or whatever, I might do some shirts. Um, I want a banner in my shed anyway, because it's cool. I'll let you guys go. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm, I'm enjoying doing it. Um, I appreciate the views, the subscriptions, the comments. Um, any shares, if you want to share it, feel free. I do appreciate that too. And um, I'll try and keep up with this... Uh, this semi-interesting stuff. But anyway, catch you guys next time. Um, I'll see you there. Cheers.